right, good afternoon. Welcome to this live stream from Columbus John Glenn International Airport. Just wrapped up with the air show a little bit ago. It's up here watching the uh, Thunderbirds out in the distance doing their air show. We're up here because we got A727 inbound here in a little bit. We've got a couple of special deliveries and looking forward to bringing those to you. So welcome. Trying an experiment today. We'll see how this works. So let me go ahead and we will transition over to camera number one as a Southwest 737 is lining up for departure here on runway 28 left watching the weather too there's definitely a pretty nasty looking thunderstorm just off to our northwest that's kind of moving in this direction so we'll keep an eye on that hopefully it stays off to the moves off to the southwest i also see a couple of c-130 hercules is out there that looks like they're descending i don't know if they're coming in here or if they're going to go over to rickenbacker for the air show but keep your fingers crossed they come in here i know there's one over um, I know there's one on the field somewhere. I think it's over on the other side, but I didn't see it. Trying to get our bearings together. I was going to go to Cleveland, and then I got the alert about the 727. There's also a Kalita 737-400 that's here, too. Maybe we'll see that depart today. But I haven't seen a 727 in a long time, so I figured we would come down here and try to get that for you. I'm still trying to get this camera set up. I'll have it a little bit too high, I think. So we'll smooth it out a little bit as we go. We have two of the Spirit Airlines Skittle in there here today, I noticed. One just landed, the other one is sitting over at the gate, so we'll see those leave today too. Thank you all so much for being here. It is a hot muggy Friday down here in Columbus, Ohio. But it's the coolest day for the next week. It's supposed to get significantly hotter as we go. Looking at mid to upper 90s next week. So I fully expect to cook tomorrow and the next weekend at the Columbus and Dayton Air Shows. But luckily the weather held out today. Looks like they were able to get the full show in. I had a chance of rain this morning, but it looks like it moved out in time. I can tell. I don't, know the, I don't know if the Thunderbirds are flying the high show or the low show. I didn't like they were getting up. I saw a couple of uh, loops, but I didn't like they were going up too high for the most part. I will say that the second camera is probably going to be redundant for today. I'm up on the top level of the parking garage because I want to be close to the car in case it rains. Usually I go down to the, uh, the AV lot on level 5. The second from highest level, usually the best spot to go. But I'm up here, I'm all the way to the top because of the rain. I actually can see the C-130s out in the distance, and I think they're coming in here. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully they land over here on 2-8 left, and we'll get them up close. Unfortunately, 2-8 right is blocked by the uh, terminal here. It's hard to tell for sure because they're kind of like right on that spot where they would have to make a decision whether they're coming in here or going over to Rickenbacker, but I think they actually are coming in here, so stay tuned for that. Got a uh, Bonanza on the runway here. Yeah, I think he's turning left, so we should get those C-130s coming in in the next couple of minutes. Got a lot of private aircraft today. Uh, I came down here during my lunch break. I've been sitting down here trying to get some work done. I've seen a number of private jets and uh, general aviation aircraft here today. I don't know if they're displaced because of the air show or not, but or maybe they're still in town from the Memorial Tournament that was last week.
I was hoping it would come in on 2 8 left. Unfortunately, I'm not mobile enough with the tripod to get over here. There's two of them inbound, actually. They usually land on this side because they go over the lane, so. Unfortunately, it looks like they're going to come in on the right side today. Definitely a little disappointing that it seems like they got to come in on the right side. From a spotting standpoint, if I wasn't doing a live stream, I would be perfectly content with them coming in on the right side because you can get um, a lot closer to them over there from the, like just the way the garage works. But with everything set up on the two tripods and the computers and everything for the live stream, I can't move. I got lost. Yeah, there it is. So we'll probably lose it behind the two buildings here, the old control tower and everything going on. But a couple of C-130s. Maybe we'll taxi over here and we'll taxi in front of us. in the distance we are uh, we are under a severe thunderstorm warning right now and I will uh, put on the other camera here in a second so you can see that C-130 Hercules is inbound for CMH. I think Alaska 450 is back there too, behind them. I'll tell you this right now, though, the sky behind us is not pretty, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully the rain stays away. If not, we'll uh, cut the live stream off for a little bit. We'll come back on if we end up getting some storms. But hopefully these two C-130s taxi over the lane. Maybe they won't stick around too long and we'll see them depart. But yes, I have to admit, I wish I was on the... The only reason we're on this side is because um, I'm expecting the 727 from Laredo, Texas to land on 28 left. So I wanted to make sure that we got that for you. And I wasn't expecting a couple of C-130s to land on the right side. Switch uh, switch angles here and look back off to our west over behind the control tower. It is not pretty. <laughs> off to our west. Yeah, we are. Got some rain moving in. Hopefully it stays off to our west. Looking at the radar, it might stay off to our west. It's gonna be close. The smaller cell to the north might hit us. Yeah, that is not a pleasant sky off to our west. We are under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. I think that's what the old belly just heard was. Um, 
it might miss us. The heavier cell is going to go to our south. So if you're still at the air show and you're watching the live stream and you're still down at Rickenbacker, I would take cover or try to find a, try to find a place inside really quick because this is probably going to come near uh, Rickenbacker Airport where the air show is today. There's a smaller cell that might hit us, but hopefully it stays off to our west. At least one of them is, the other one might have gone to the other side. Check this out. C-130 Hercules, looks like the call sign is Vader, because they are out of the Youngstown Air National Guard Station in Youngstown, Ohio, you can tell by the tail logo. A stripe on the tail, check this out. I'm assuming the other one went off to the right side and went over there. It's like here, but I don't see it. I would love it. They left that right there. Get a full screen grab before it goes behind the garage. Check this out. One of the Youngstown Air National Guard's C-130 Hercules is taxiing over to Lane Aviation. Oh, the C-130 is heading over. We'll grab the uh, Challenger that just landed on the runway here. Here's the second one for you. If anyone has commented down below, I will get to the comments here in a second. Thank you so much for being here, spending your Friday down here at Columbus Glen International Airport with me today. That's a classic airplane spotting here today if the weather holds out. Moderately optimistic that it will stay off to the east. These two C-130s just came in. They both have the Youngstown Air National Guard logo on the tail. You can see it nice and tight there with the state flag. Nice little surprise visitor for us here today. We got two C-130s. And later on today, we should have a 727 out of Laredo. Should be from the IFL group. One of less than 30 727s that are still flying. They're quite late. They were due in about 4.30. Now they shouldn't be here until about 6.30. Hopefully we'll get lucky we'll see these two leave today. Unfortunately, nothing, nothing too significant, significant so far. We've got one camera pointed at the storm and the other camera is pointed at the C-130 for you. Down 
This might have been a drop and go. I think he's going to depart it right into the storm. The uh, tailgate is up on the second one. They should be heading, I guess, I'm assuming they're heading right back out. I wonder if they're going to go over to the air show if they're going to head back home. switch over to the second C-130 as that one heads over towards the runway. Rain is coming down now up here in Columbus, Ohio. So far it's a light rain. Thunder in the background, the city has all but disappeared behind the rain. Check this out, 727, they got here quick. Either that or there's a second one in now. The TC-130s are actually sitting over here. They might. Uh, they have to raid. I don't Seven twenty seven is heading over to um, Lane Aviation as well, so we'll get them taken off or going into there going into there here in a minute. Right now I'm hiding underneath my car. I hope that uh, I got the tailgate up here and I'm hoping that we'll really keep everything dry enough. The rain I feel like is starting to, to move off to the uh, south. Oh, 
watching the second one here. There's a spirit, A320, one of the old livery spirits sitting at the uh, hold point for 2.8 left. Yeah, a little too much going on right now, don't we? <laughs> Well, how about this for you on one camera? We got a 727 pulling into its gate over here at Lane Aviation. And on the runway, we have a C-130 Hercules holding short, ready for departure. It looks like they're gonna head back to Youngstown. The rain is starting to come down. Good times down here in Columbus, Ohio. That storm is moving off to our south. I see clear skies back over to our north. And I think once this tower passes, we should be good to go. Vader 23 heading out on 28 left, heading back probably to Youngstown. Really, really quick visit by our TC-130 Hercules is here out of the Youngstown Air National Guard. Taking off into the rain. Might lose focus on it here in the rain. Vader 07 was the second one. Vader T2 was the first one. Vader 07 was the second one. And is Vader like Darth Vader in Star Wars? And they are on their way back home to Youngstown Warren Regional Airport. Lightning right now is about the last couple of minutes. You still hear the thunder in the background. Got a NetJet Citation inbound. Boy, that uh, 727 made up some serious ground. It wasn't actually too in. Um, or at least it wasn't showing that it was going to come in until about um, 6.30. So they made us some serious ground. We should see them depart here in a little bit. I don't have a departure time showing right now, but we should see them depart. We also have a Sun Country. We have two Sun Country 727s that are becoming, or 737s that'll be coming in. One will be coming in from Cleveland. The other is coming in from Minneapolis. We should see them here in a little bit too. At 7.27's departure time, I don't see it on Flight Radar 24 anymore, but it was about an hour after it arrived originally. So we should see that leave, I would imagine. Should be heading back up to Pontiac, Michigan. Got dual runway action right now. We got an aircraft lining up for departure on 28 left, and one lining up for departure on 28 right. The one over here on 28 right is Spirit Wings 2051. They'll be heading to Orlando. I was checking my phone to see what was taking off. I usually mount my phone on top of the camera for the live stream so I can check. Although you guys can see the uh, board down below.
channel A started. Here's our mini tri jet. Looks like they're coming in from Nova Scotia. At least that's where the, uh, the arrival path on uh, Flight Radar 24 cuts off. So the ramp should be open in about 10 minutes. is heading over to Lane. Jets and a lot of cargo aircraft. There's a Kalita 737-400 that's on the field here today. I can't see it, at least from where I'm at, but I think it's probably right over to my right behind the garage. That is not a tri-jet. But I do see one out there, so it must be the next aircraft inbound. Or it's landing on the other side and I can't see it. Still another uh, business jet touching down here. shoes to get wet, so I'm sliding around here a little bit. So there's definitely a chance that we'll see some more aircraft here today. Falcon. Camera two is not on a, uh, a pan tilt friendly tripod. Really, it's more of a, it's a cheap tripod that I bought really more for uh, doing stuff at home. So it's okay at holding like your phone or cameras like that, but it's not really good for moving. But since the tri-jet is over here, I figured I'd get it for you. Down. Hoping the weather forecast for Dayton changes. Right now it's supposed to be really hot, but also a pretty good chance of showers and thunderstorms. So. Keep your fingers crossed that next weekend is a little bit nicer for Dayton. And uh, looking forward to seeing the Blue Angels for the first time this year. It is pretty wild to have two major air shows within 100 miles of each other on back-to-back -back weekends. It is pretty crazy. So this weekend we got the Thunderbirds, next weekend we got the Blue Angels. And then we'll have the uh, Blue Angels again at the Cleveland Air Show in September. So we'll bring that to you live. And um, if things go well, we're going to try to go to at least one or two other air shows. I want to try to get the Italian team when they're uh, in the U.S. this summer. So either the Milwaukee Air Show or the Rochester Air Show, we'll see how the, see how the timing works out for them. And then we'll see how things go, but I'm hoping to go to the um, Blue Angels homecoming show in Pensacola in November. It depends on money and everything, but keep your fingers crossed. We'll really get to those two shows. The Blue Angels homecoming show will host both the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds. So I'm hoping to see them together later this year. Thank you all so much for being here. Welcome to the live stream. We're down here at Columbus John Glenn International Airport. 
We had TC-130 Hercules with touchdown a little bit ago. We have a 727 here on the field. We have a 737 Classic on the field. Hoping that we'll see them leave today. The uh, 727 Classic, we should see that leave. I'm not sure about the Kalita 737, but hopefully we'll see them leave too. We got a little bit of Classic Airliner action here today. And we have Southwest touching down. Well, it's hard to see right now. The sun is the sun is right behind me and it's kind of glaring on the screen. So it's hard to see now. Southwest Airlines 737 rolling out on two eight left. Boy, they've been in the news lately. I haven't heard the news. The Elliott Investment Group has purchased about 11% of Southwest stock. And they're trying to force them to fire their leadership and make a bunch of changes. So we'll see what the future involves with Southwest. Unfortunately, when these hedge funds get involved, it doesn't always work out for the best. But hopefully we see Southwest come out and emerge stronger than ever. And hopefully without too many changes. They're already talking about changing their boarding policy out to the east now. We're back in full sun here at the airport. Feel the temperature rising. The humidity coming back up. And an American 737 rolling out here on the runway. This came in from Dallas, Texas. Dallas Fort Worth International. I will say one of my biggest fears right now is some divergence going into Hopkins. There's some weather moving into Newark. I saw a couple of aircraft whip into Pittsburgh. Keep your fingers crossed. Maybe we'll see a diversion down here in Columbus. And hopefully we don't get a heavy diverting into Cleveland. But we got a, a 727 down here in TC-130, so I guess we're doing all right. Southwest, a flight that just came in from Baltimore, Washington. Heading over for their gate. They'll be parking at Alpha 5. I'm up on the top level of the parking deck today. Just because of the rain, I wanted to stay close to my car. So we will lose it behind the uh, terminal here. another Southwest, the uh, Dallas Love flight on final for 2-8 left. Turn the camera over there, we'll get the uh, arriving flight. Number of spotters here today, I'm sure that everyone wants to get the 727 departure when they take off here. I don't know, I don't have the uh, time offhand, but on the original schedule, it was about an hour after they landed, and they got here about 5.30, so... Hopefully around 6.30, 7 o'clock, we'll see them head out. Columbus, if you're not familiar, is a focus city for Southwest Airlines. They've got a pretty good sized base down here now. You'll see a lot of the blue 737s. The other runway, you'll see Alaska and Delta head over there. Fortunately, the TC-130 is landed on the right side, but they took off on the left side, so we got lucky there. So I'm taking off directly into the sun, or into the shower that we had. American. 
American 2337 just came in about three or four minutes ago. This aircraft came in from Dallas, Fort Worth. Two major airlines from their major hubs. From their headquarters. And a challenger on final four, two, eight left. I'm watching them off the left side of my head here. They get a little bit closer, we'll put the camera on them. Trying to keep an eye on the uh, computer when I get a chance. I did a bunch of work um, on earlier this week to try to figure out the uh, freezing issue. I think, knock on wood, I found it. So on Wednesday, I did a private live stream for about three hours, testing out all kinds of camera configurations and microphone configurations and all kinds of things to see if I could plug in the scanner to the camera, which I can do, but it overpowers the mic, even at like the lowest volume setting on the scanner. We're trying to see if we can iron out some of the issues and have some have some more success as we go into the uh, air show live streams that we're going to have. The Southwest 737-800 just came in from Dallas Love. Got Spirit in now. <laughs> this one's just coming in. Spirit, another spirit inbound. The first yellow spirit that we've seen today. The others have all been white, the old livery. There's only eight Skittle livery spirit aircraft left. We've seen two of them today. One of them is still here, so we should hopefully see that depart here in a little bit. Good news I'll say about Spirit is they added a bunch of flights down here to Columbus this summer. And for what I hear, they've extended those flights throughout the uh, winter. So hopefully that's a good sign for Spirit's growth down here. They've cut most of their flights out of Hopkins. I'm glad to see that they're having some success down here. Great, Jimmy the Challenger. It's owned by Executive Jet Management. I don't know where they're coming in from. 
It looks like they attempted an approach on the right side and went around. Now they came in here on the left side. Pretty busy right now with the 727 and a bunch of private jets. Jackson said no way that Spirit would cancel their LAX flight. They actually did cancel their flight, their Cleveland flight. I think it's supposed to end in October. But the CNH flights will continue. I, for one, am really bummed that they're canceling the Cleveland flight, and it's actually really, really tempting to book it before it goes away. It's usually a seasonal flight for us at Hopkins. So hopefully it comes back next year. There's some rumors that it might not, but hopefully it comes back next year. It's really tempting to book a flight out to LAX. I'd rather do it on United. But Spirit is much cheaper. So that might be something to do at some point. Frontier, though, has taken over. Um, when they open their crew base, they've taken over a lot of the yields at Hopkins. Between them and United. I can zoom out enough to get these clouds. Really deep sky right now. But Frontier has taken over. Frontier has taken over most of the uh, ultra low cost carrier operations out of Hopkins. But it sounds like their plan right now is to try to get their crews home every day, so they're not really doing um, long flights. So it doesn't look like we're going to see. LAX or Seattle or Portland on Frontier, which is unfortunate. Maybe it'll change. But the last I heard, they're trying to to limit how many overnight trips their crews take. Spirit A320. Taxi over to the gate. You see another yellow jet sitting over there. And behind the building, you won't be able to see it. Should be another Skittles jet. airplanes here in Columbus is that deck right there that is on level five it's got a gate on it so you can't unless you have a special pass you can't park over there but you can certainly walk over there and that parking deck overlooks southwest terminal also overlooks I guess they're going to bring them over here it also overlooks um, Alaska and a little bit of Delta on 28 right side so there's a Southwest Special Delivery or Alaska Special Delivery that's due in here 320. 
One of eight left. Still wearing this livery, taxi over for departure. This aircraft is flight 205 and are heading to Las Vegas. We'll call this the oven special. They're going to be hot. Some more dark, dark clouds off to the west here. I don't see, I don't see any rain out there. I have to admit, I'm usually a lot smoother on the camera. I'm pretty. I keep bumping it tonight. I got it like right next to my car. I'm trying to stay where I can keep things nice and cool for you. I'm usually a lot smoother tonight. Not so much, apparently. Because I have everything, everything too close, close to me, that's why. I still have a little bit more room. Spirit holding short of 2-8 left, we have a NetJets aircraft inbound. So I think the NetJets are going to get here first. There's another NetJets aircraft landing on the right side, so we got parallel landing for you NetJets. Uh, private jet fans out there, NetJets has their headquarters down here at CMH. They're on the other side of the field. So we see a lot of NetJets aircraft. Including occasionally their uh, um, 737. We're going around here southwest. Southwest 3857. Going around. There they are, I couldn't find them. Going around. Might lose it here. I only have so much tilt. Yeah. Oh, I lost it for a second. They'll turn around and they'll try it again here on 2 8 left. These guys just wanted to take the scenic route over town. Brickyard 4094 landing here on the left side. I think that was the United Express E-175 out of Toronto repositioning in. They have clearance to land here on 2-8 left. The Spirit still holding ship. I'm amazed I'm still getting the, the uh, southwest on the camera. I can barely see it uh, just with my eyes. You're pretty far out there now. Uh, 
express on final. I guess we'll pan off the southwest and we'll get the United Express as southwest goes around. It is our United Express flight inbound from Toronto, a repositioning flight for Republic Airways. I wish this was a regular flight. and I, I would love to see United start Toronto. So far, nothing on the uh, 727. These guys are going to go over to the hangar. Meanwhile, Spirit 205, one one four departure on 28 left, heading to Las Vegas. One at eight, Skittles livery A320 still left in Spirit's fleet, and I'm pretty sure they all have the yellow nose at this point. At least all the ones that I've seen the last few weeks have. I'm a little disappointed to see this livery go away. I know a lot of people like the yellow livery. A lot of people like the uh, ashtray livery, the gray livery that they had. I think you're crazy. <laughs> but I know everyone has different tastes. I like this livery, though. It just screams fun to me. I think a spirit, I think fun. Maybe not spirit airlines, but <laughs> the word spirit, I think fun. Actually, my experiences as Spirit have all been pretty positive. Probably going to the to go into the house here, the hangar. Got Tim here today. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Friday from Columbus Glen. Air show weekend here in Columbus, Ohio. Weren't with us earlier today. We had two C-130 Hercules out of Youngstown. Uh, they were only here for maybe five minutes. And then um, we have a 727 from the IFL group. They are sitting over at Lane Aviation right now. I uh, haven't heard anything about a departure time for them yet. Originally, they were about an hour after arrival on uh, all the flight tracking apps, but I don't see a departure time for them right now, so we'll keep an eye on that, see if they're going to spend the night or if they're going to leave here here in a little bit. They were just heading up to Pontiac. So I'm not sure how long they're going to be here. We'll keep an eye on them. It's a hot, humid night here today, so trying to stay hydrated.
Our next inbound flight will be Southwest 3857. 737-700 out of Austin, Texas. This is the aircraft that went around a couple of minutes ago. They're back here on final. Delta 2890 out of Atlanta, 14 minutes out. We also have a couple of business jets out there as well. Trying to see how much longer the laptop battery will last here. It's not doing very well with the heat. I wish I would have brought uh, a power converter with me today. I think there's a train coming in. Southwest trying it again here on 2-8 left. The Delta will probably, even though they're coming in from the south, they'll probably land on 2-8 right. Now right, we got an American Airlines A319 lining up for departure on 2-8 left. Flight 1140 heading to Philadelphia at a ground stop in Philly has been canceled. That weather now is moving into New York. United has taken off as saying that if they have to divert on the Newark flight that they're getting ready to depart on, they'll just head to Providence. Not even thinking about going to Cleveland. <laughs> it would be my luck, I'll be up here and uh, something heavy diverts in. to uh, Cleveland. Southwest finally got down. This flight just came in from Austin, Texas. Of course, you know what this means when Southwest is coming in. Typically, there is one getting ready to push back. I can't see the ramp from here because of the, uh, the wall we got in front of us, but I have a feeling that one of those two 737s over there, probably about ready to go. They are pulling into maybe Alpha 3, Alpha 4. From up here. Across the airport, the uh, United Express Embraer getting ready to go. Soon they're going to put it into the hangar.
Next couple inbound flights that I see. Uh, Delta 28 or 2890 out of Atlanta, 737 900. More than likely, they'll come in and land on runway 28 right, since there are terminals on that side of the airport. We also have uh, Republic 50 or 3566 out of Washington, Dulles. That looks like they're heading over for the right side as well. Actually, no, they're heading probably over for the left side. We have a Cirrus SR-22 out of Parkersburg, 15 minutes out. A Lancer Evolution aircraft out of Pittsburgh, they're 12 minutes out. American Eagle Envoy Flight 3533 inbound from Orlando or Chicago O'Hare. They are nine minutes out. Looks like they got to come in from the north side, so probably 28 right. Sun Country Flight 8100 out of Cleveland. Just now taking off out of Hopkins Airport. We'll probably see them here in about 20 minutes. As long as they come in on the left side and not the right side. Then after that, it's mostly private jets, but they're a little farther out of Pilatus, out of Wichita. They're about an hour and a half out. I don't think we'll be live that long. Um, and then a, uh, a citation about 45 minutes out of Providence. And then everything else is a little farther out than that. So keeping an eye on the radar, keeping an eye on the charge here for the live stream. And uh, go on from there. But thank you all so much for being here. Happy Friday, everyone. TGIF. We've made it to Friday. Got a gorgeous Friday, had some storms pass through. It's still hot and humid, but definitely not too bad. And then tomorrow we'll be at the air show. The 27 is on the field, operated by IFL Group. The operator is Golf and Caribbean Cargo. Came in from Laredo, Texas. They'll be heading up to Pontiac, Michigan. It's a 40-year-old 727. November 215 Whiskey Echo. And that aircraft, I'm going to try to see if I can get a history for you really quick. That aircraft was delivered to FedEx. It looks like, and then it went to the Wilmington Trust Group before being sold to IFL Group. One of 28 727s still operating today. Got the low battery alert on my camera. We're gonna be, or the computer, we're gonna be close. So we're probably about to wrap the live stream up here around seven, just because of the charge. Hopefully the uh, IFL group aircraft has left before the battery dies on the computer. If it doesn't, I wanted to check if I had a charger and I brought the charger for my work laptop and not my personal laptop. Unfortunately, they have a different adapter, so it won't work. But the, um, if not, I'll probably stick around a little while longer and I'll see if I can get it on video for you and then we'll use that video. I'll, I'll splice it onto the uh, highlight video that I'll post here in a couple of days from this live stream. So you can see the 727 departure. Got two Southwest aircraft pushing back. This one heading for the runway and the other one down here in front of me is pushing back right now.
That might have been them. Tempting gets a 727, does depart after the battery dies. I'm tempted to run down there. It's going to get a little closer to it, but I'm also pretty much right about where it's going to rotate, so it's also tempting to sit here too. A little taxi, I think, on the runway out there, on the taxiway out there, so we'll see. But I just want to thank everyone so much for being here tonight. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button. Uh, it helps a lot with the uh, YouTube algorithm, which can definitely be picky. So hit that like button if you haven't done so already. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate everyone who's done it so far. Thank you to anyone who's subscribed today. Really appreciate your support. Got a lot of really cool things to look forward to over the next couple of weeks. We got Airliners International. We got the Dayton Air Show next weekend. We're going to do a live stream on Friday. So looking forward to bringing that to you. We're also going to do, we're going to get some footage of the Columbus Air Show tomorrow and get that posted as well as the uh, Dayton Air Show next week. Hoping to go to Airliners International in a couple of weeks. We've got some more air shows coming up. Lots of really cool things. And we got some, uh, we got some big aircraft that will be coming into both Columbus and Cleveland later this year for sports charters. So I'm looking forward to bringing those to you. So uh, have you done so already, uh, really hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share with all of your friends. Usually post about three or four times a week. Uh, full-length videos. I've been doing some shorts lately since those seem to be pretty popular. But um, And follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well where I post uh, the shorts, uh, photos, and all kinds of cool stuff on there for you. Uh, some live events, maybe even some giveaways. So i got all kinds of things coming up for you. So uh, definitely check out those channels. And uh, if you've already hit that subscribe button, I really, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're enjoying this live, live stream from Columbus on this hot and humid Friday night here in central Ohio. We got a small aircraft inbound. Southwest holding short. And we'll probably wrap up tonight around 7 o'clock for the live stream. We got to drive home, get some dinner, and then get, get to bed so we can come back down here tomorrow morning and uh, get that air show for you down here at Rickenbacker. How cool was earlier today with the two C-130s and the 727? A couple of mini tri-jets we had today with our Dassault Falcons. And certainly a lot of private aircraft like this one. Uh, this is the Evolution that uh, was coming in from Pittsburgh. A pretty unique looking aircraft. some stuff around out there we had a runway change so we have switched to the tens and we got a bunch of aircraft that'll be taxiing over there for departure including the southwest 737 also spirit we have a american eagle all kinds of stuff taxi over here for departure Flight, I believe we'll be heading to LAX. I gotta go back to my car and grab the mic for this camera. Switch to the Sony. That 727 just called for clearance. We should be getting them heading out here shortly. Southwest 737 Max just came in. Taxiing over to their gate. Thank you all so much for being on that live stream earlier today. 
It looks like we ironed out a lot of the bugs, which is a good thing. I tried the two stream. I wonder if that's why the battery died a little bit faster on that laptop. I usually get about three and a half to four hours on that laptop on a full charge, but not so much today, it looks like. So I'm gonna borrow Danny's uh, power converter again, and uh, they'll do some live longer ones. But I'm also, I guess in some ways, I'm glad it's a little shorter. That way we make sure we have the data for next week. Thank you all so much for being here. It's turned into a gorgeous evening now. show you something pretty crazy we're gonna zoom out got all kinds of stuff heading over for departure got a business jet inbound here on 10 right now runaway 10 right out of providence the red wing aviation i believe is the operator here went back to the uh the zoom mic i know it doesn't get the best audio for my vocals because it's, it's filming straight out but I want to make sure that we get some really good audio of that uh, 727 when that heads out here in a little bit. They did call for clearance, so we should be seeing them leave here shortly. Southwest Airlines Flight 2048 inbound from Phoenix.
Alaska Airlines Flight 345 came over here to the right side now. This aircraft is heading to Seattle. heading to Pontiac 727-200. Looking out ahead of me here, we got a mini Trijet, a Falcon. Taxi over for departure on runway 28 right, or 28 left, I apologize. I'm going to put my microphone in here in a minute. Still up here trying to get some work done. And uh, we'll start the live stream here in a little bit, see if they get done with work. Hopefully things go pretty well. It's very hot today, so hopefully everything can handle the heat. A lot of private jets. I've been here for about 25 minutes or so. I've seen a number of private jets taking off so far. It's about 87 degrees, 88 degrees maybe today. 
So I think under a severe thunderstorm watch, I see a couple of divergers going into Pittsburgh today, so I have to keep an eye on diversion. Hopefully we don't get a bunch in Cleveland while I'm not up there today. in the mid 90s next week. Now, hey, welcome back. Sorry about that, my, my laptop hit 4% and then just shut off. So I apologize for the uh, abrupt ending of the live stream. But well, we are back on the uh, camera. And we'll try to hang around a little while longer to see if we can get that 727 departure for you. SR-22 rolling out. This aircraft just came in from Parkersburg, West Virginia. And an American Airlines flight 2337 lining up for a departure on runway 28 left. We'll get them here in a minute. American Airlines flight 2837 heading to Dallas Fort Worth. Spirit Airlines Flight 2012 heading to Myrtle Beach.